We've all been there, sitting at work or at school. A little sneeze creeps in, perhaps a cough. You find yourself sweaty, a little soreness in your throat. Uh-oh. It appears you've been visited by an old acquaintance, one of mankind's worst enemies, influenza. <laughs> Hello. If you're like me, you like jokes. So while you may chuckle at this video, also pay close attention because the following pointers can make the difference between having a good time and being laid up in bed with the flu. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but there's a new strain of flu going around this season, H1N1, AKA swine flu. And it has the potential to infect a lot of people this season, including you. But you're not alone. To help combat the spread of this new scourge, We've enlisted the services of our resident safety and wellness supervisor, Flu Buster. Thanks for joining us, Flu Buster. You ready to roll, FB? All right, let's get started. So how does one get the flu? Researchers have determined that influenza, including H1N1, is mainly spread by people inhaling or ingesting the virus. So let's talk inhalation. One ill-placed cough or sneeze from an infected individual is all it takes to infect those around them. Even ordinary conversation can in fact transmit the virus if people are close enough. This is why Flu Buster recommends keeping a safe and comfortable distance for all conversations. On the topic of sneezes and coughs, there is actually a correct and incorrect way. When you feel a cough or sneeze coming on, do not do it in your hand, as you will almost certainly spread it to other surfaces this way. Instead, Flu Buster highly recommends using your upper sleeve. This way, airborne contamination is minimized and your hands remain cleaner. If you do sneeze or cough in your hand, even with a tissue, wash your hands right away. Just remember, sneeze in your sleeve, cough in your cloth. Moving along to ingestion, your mouth, nose, and eyes are prime entry points for germs, so don't touch them unless you have to. Biting your nails, chewing on pencils, picking your nose, or rubbing your eyes is not a wise idea, so cut it out, will ya? Since we perform many tasks with our hands, they pick up a lot of germs throughout the day. Think of all the doorknobs, phones, computers, desks, and other things our hands touch in the course of a few hours. If we could only see the germs, perhaps we'd be more cautious. You can wipe down many surfaces with disinfectant, and the best way to combat hand contamination is to wash them thoroughly and often, especially before eating. Also keep in mind that a brief warm rinse isn't going to cut it. Flu Buster recommends hot water, soap, and vigorous scrubbing action for at least 20 seconds to get rid of most germs. Now some experts recommend singing the happy birthday song or the ABCs in your head to accurately judge the time. Flu Buster says, why limit yourself? Sing a favorite song of yours, and if you're really good, modify one to fit the vibe. I got the scrub to keep from coughing And I like the nice hand softening But I need one more soapy slosher Cause I'm not gonna let them catch me, no Not gonna let them infect the good hand washer Now let's say you followed these tips and still start to feel sick. That's a bummer. We all feel for you. Up until the point you still go to work or school and easily spread your sickness to everyone else. That's not cool. Flu Buster says, 
keep the flu with you. If you feel sick, stay home. Experts recommend staying home until you go 24 hours without a fever or body aches without taking aspirin or Tylenol. It's as simple as that. Show a little courtesy. And come on, when else can you lay around all day and not feel guilty? Well, there you have it. If everyone would just do these simple things, the spread of influenza would be limited and your chances of having a healthy and cozy flu season are greatly improved. What do you say, FB? Huh? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Getting your annual flu vaccination is very important in the fight against influenza. Let's go get some shots.